I mean, that's everybody's goal on this team, you know what I'm saying, to get back to where we left off and, you know, pick up and hopefully bring one of those trophies home soon. For you personally, um, I know you haven't written down the goals yet, mm -hmm. but how much do you want to show the rest of the NFL? You might be talking on the Bengals a little bit that last year was no fluke for you personally and for this team. I mean, it's a whole new year, so we got to prove it again, you know what I'm saying? So this whole team got to prove it again to everybody, so... Um, as long as we're working hard and improving it, we don't really care what people are saying about us. You know, that's what that's what we in this locker room bonding for. You know what I'm saying? So, as long as we go out there and play our part, we'll be okay. What has the locker room reception been like to that GQ interview? It's been funny, actually. Uh, I walked in yesterday and it was everybody was doing the little pictures outside, so it was cool seeing that. You know, everybody making fun of me, but you know, it's it's, it's funny seeing <laughs> stuff like that. So, have you given Dax any advice on rookie dinners yet? Nah, he asked me how much mine was. I just said. It's gonna be a lot. You got more people than I did, so he he gonna he got mine wasn't that much because I only had like four receivers, five receivers. So he got about eight people over there. So how, how difficult would you say it is, Jamar, if you're scheming against the Bengals to scheme against you and, and T and Tyler Boyd? How, how difficult? How would you go about that? <laughs> I never thought about it like that. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess try new things. See what see what we. See what we can't do, see what we can do, you know what I'm saying? And then they might get surprised by the things that they think we can't do. So, I mean, uh, it, it's all a part of the, their plan, you know what I'm saying, to try to stop us. Uh, I wouldn't know how to stop myself either sometimes, or the T or TB or Joe or Mixon. So, like, it's a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff going on. Do you feel like this offense, I mean, the way you described it, can be unstoppable? Definitely, definitely. We had a year last year that, you know, we didn't possibly come in the season thinking it was going to happen, that e not even that easily, but just happening like that. Uh, so, you know, if we come in this season thinking the same thing, you know, but high expectations for us, so I think we'll work harder and, and, and get there. T said he was catching passes one day from Joe and the next day he's having surgery. Is, is it shocking to you as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was my first time hearing from him. I didn't, I didn't really know. I was just working out with Joe in uh, L.A., so me and him did some drills together, and uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see nothing wrong with him. He was moving smooth to me, so, I mean, uh, he'll be back soon. When was that that you were working out with him last? Um, if you remember. We did a photo shoot for, what was it, Bose headphones. So we was out there doing a little shoot for Bose, and we just caught up with each other and got on the field. Have you heard from him since yesterday? Yeah, I talked to him last night. Yeah. How's he doing? He's good. He don't really say he's good, but, you know, he's so tough, he don't, he don't want to talk about it. Even before the injury, uh, you know, in OTAs and everything, we saw Joe doing sprints after practice. You were tweeting him about the speed, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Uh, is that one thing in his game you've noticed he really wants to improve this year? Is his his speed? Mobile? His speed, running, whatever. I don't think I don't think nothing's wrong with his movement. He's incredible in the pocket. You haven't seen it. He's incredible. <laughs> he's, he's incredible in the pocket. I, I was there. I saw the games. Uh, but he he's certainly I feel like coming off the knee thing and, and a year beyond that he can ad lib even more so, be even faster. Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't I don't need him running at all. I just need him to sit back there and look pretty and throw the ball to all three receivers <laughs> and mix. So like I mean, hey, just sit there and look pretty, man. I didn't know if he was running sprints to try to improve that part of his. I game. mean, I don't mind him running. That's just opened up the offense a little more, but he, he's a pocket passer. So if he's not talking about the appendix, he's not talking about the surgery, what is Joe talking about? He's, uh, he's talking about why I, I said I bought, I bought him clothes. Yeah. So that, that's what he, the first thing he talked talk to me about. Was that a lie? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't buy Joe no clothes. But now I have to since that's out now. So, uh, so when the Madden ratings came out, you uh, had a little tweet that you motivated. How much is behind that? I mean... With Tom Brady commented on it too, so that was kind of cool that he did that. He just told me keep working, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's my first year, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really worried about it. You know, it's gonna get better overall. Do you, be there. Do you play Madden? Nah, not at all. I don't play no sports games outside of football. There's too much football in my head already. <laughs> What's your ideal rating you hope you have next year? I don't really care, honestly. Just whatever, better than what I have now, honestly. Yeah. Jamar, are you ready for the reaction that something like that GQ shoot could get, especially when it gets on <laughs> social media? Um, I had to prepare myself for it. So I showed my friends first, like my homeboys from the city, and they was tearing me up. So, I mean, once they tore me up, I already knew what it was coming up to. So I, I was I was getting ready for it. Was there a shot that they asked you to do that you said, nah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what, what was I, it? I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> 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 but I definitely did say no to some, you know, some stuff I wasn't comfortable with. Did they get all the quotes right? Because a lot of them are getting, they, especially the thing about buying them clothes or they that, didn't throw I, it to I me enough in the Super Bowl. Yeah, you know they overdo some things, but um, I definitely say she didn't throw me the ball. I mean, you know that.
I'm not saying he should throw it more, but you know what I'm saying? Just saying throw the ball. And uh, I don't I might I might have to buy him clothes now that that's out, so like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, have you ever bought him any article of clothes? I'm pretty sure I bought him something. I don't know off the top of my head. What I don't I don't really buy him nothing but dinner actually if I'm being honest. You said you might have to. What will you buy him? Um I might buy him some jeans. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna buy him some nice jeans and see how he rock them, yeah. Jamar, Maybe some sneakers too. Jamar, you said that you've written nothing on the mirror yet, but are goals touchdowns? Is it yards? Is it is MVP <coughs> in the conversation? I mean, I didn't expect to get rookie of the year. I mean, I expected it, but you know what I'm saying? I had a goal that I didn't really expect to get. So, um, as long as I work hard, you know what I'm saying, keep myself motivated and the guys around and push me, you know what I'm saying, then, then you know what I'm saying, I might over succeed in what I want to do. And I imagine you like to surprise people as a player. Yeah, I love to. I mean, no one really knows what I'm capable of but me. So uh, that's that's what it's all about, surprising people who don't know. Jamar, did you appreciate the fun we had with your teammates yesterday? Who do you think recreated your post the best? Uh, I think Sam did his, I think Sam did it the best. I think Sam got it. What do you think of those white helmets? Oh, I love them. I love the whole unis. I think that's the uh, old color rush they had, I think, two years ago. So that, that's nice they did that, bring it back.